Should you write a personal letter to the sellers of the home that you're trying to buy? This is a great question and it's topical and it's interesting because a couple years ago, especially in a seller's market, if you put your house up for sale and you had say a handful of buyers that were interested and they're all trying to figure out ah, how much do I give them and what do I do and should I remove my contingencies? Well, buyers would add a personal letter on top of it, which is you know, maybe a picture of them and their kids or their dog or their grandma saying how nice they are and how much they love the house and the neighborhood and we can see us raising our children there and blah, 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 blah. And they're heartfelt. I'm not trying to take away from that, but they're all kind of following the same paint by numbers script a little bit. Nowadays though, things are different because nowadays what you have is sellers up front saying on the multiple listing service, please do not write buyer letters to the sellers. They will not even be read. Let's say there's five offers on a house and they all five people write beautifully crafted letters and there's pictures and shows the family and all that. Well, one buyer might say, wait a minute, you didn't pick me because uh, I have a disability or you didn't pick me because of my race or my sexuality or anything along those lines. So the sellers don't even wanna play that game of having to be sued later on down the road because they maybe tip the scales in favor of one race or another. Now, certainly they did or they didn't do, that's not what my point is. But that's why sellers do not say anymore that they want seller letters, which is kind of sad because you can imagine there are sellers out there that want the buyer letters. You know, They want to be told how lovely their house is and how well kept it is and how much the buyers love the neighborhood. You know, the sellers, they love their house. They love their neighbors, we think. And they want somebody who's gonna move in and take care of the neighborhood and take care of the house. But sadly, that's the world we live in now. And that's just how it is. It doesn't stop buyers from writing buyer letters. You can still do it. There's no law against it. But the trend is that it just doesn't exist anymore. If you're thinking about getting started, you want to know more, just message us. Thanks.